Okay, this is section 18.2. We're going to talk about strengths of acids and bases. The objectives we're going to cover are we're going to relate the relative strength of an acid or a base related to its degree of ionization. We're going to compare the strengths of a weak acid with the strength of its conjugate base. Okay, we're going to explain the relationship between the strengths of acids and the values of their ionization constants. Okay, so we're going to go over all of this vocabulary here, and the main idea is in solution, strong acids and bases ionize completely. That's what makes them strong acids and bases. But weak acids only ionize partially. So we'll explain what that means here in a second. So a strong acid like HCl ionizes completely. That means it starts out as you know this compound hydrogen chloride, but then when you put it in water, it ionizes. It becomes these two ions, hydrogen and chlorine. So Strong acids, they ionize almost completely. Okay, so all the equilibrium for this is all in the products. These, hardly any HCl, mostly hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, so acids, some compounds don't do that, right? So most, some of them don't ionize that much. They want the hydrogen and whatever it's bonded to want to stay together. Okay, so those that don't ionize uh, very well are called weak acids. So the strong acids, one of the common ones are, are here on the left, and some of the weak acids here, uh, some of you guys might be, uh, Breaking Bad fans might be surprised to learn that Walter White's favorite acid, hydrofluoric acid, HF, is actually a weak acid. Okay, that doesn't mean it's not nasty, but it's probably not the best thing you'd want to use to dissolve batteries, uh, bodies, I mean. Acetic acid, that's what's in vinegar. Carbonic acid, that's what's in your sodas. Um, so those are weak acids. Okay, with a strong acid, the conjugate base is a weak base. Okay, so we said, we said in the last video that the acid part on the left makes a big a base on the right. So the conjugate base is weak in a strong acid because that base this Cl minus doesn't want to attract the hydrogen ions very much. So most of this, you know, the strong acid, the equilibrium for this is in these two ions in the products here on the right side. In a weak acid, equilibrium lies far to the left. So it's mostly on the on the reactant side. There's not that many ions created. Okay. So that's because the conjugate base Okay, this base in a weak acid has a pretty good affinity for those hydrogen ions. It wants to grab onto those hydrogen ions, so the reaction keeps going back to the left instead of for, instead of going left and right. It mostly stays on the left side. Okay, so ionization equilibrium constant, the same thing we had before, but right when we when we are talking about acids, we call it Ka for acids, and it equals and like it did before. The the equilibrium constant tells us whether products or reactants are favored equilibrium. Right? If it's greater than one, it's products. If it's less than one, it's reactants. And most of the Ka's are very small, so they're all favor reactants. Okay, so we're writing the Ka for the following equation. We ignore the water, right? And instead of writing a lot of times, instead of writing the hydronium ion here in this reaction, we um, write H plus. Oh, and Cn would be the other um, product here, the conjugate base for this. So this actually is a pretty good attractant for the hydrogen ion. So that's why this these this hydrogen cyanide wants to stay together. The water breaks it apart a little bit, but not that much. So this Ka this number, this concentration on the bottom is way big compared to the concentrations on top. So Ka's are usually pretty small numbers. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. For weak acids, the products tend to be smaller compared to the unionized molecules, the reactants. Weaker acids have a smaller Ka. So the weaker the acid, the smaller the acid um, constant, the ionization constant, we call it. Okay, so the Ka's here, you know, pretty small for carbonic acid. The biggest one here, acetic acid, is still pretty small. 
Hydrofluoric acid, you know, it's probably the strongest acid out of this bunch, but it's not very strong compared to especially like uh, hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid, pretty weak stuff as far as ionization goes because that hydrogen wants to keep hold of the fluorine, okay? Well, the fluorine wants to keep hold of the hydrogen, sorry. Base that disassociates completely is a strong base, okay? So if you really wanted to um, dissolve a body, you would use a strong base would be uh, the way to go, okay? So Walter White, uh, it's good theater, but uh, it doesn't always get the science right. Okay, so a weak base ionizes only partially the same way that a weak acid does. Okay, so the ionization, base ionization constant, we're dealing with bases, we do it the same way, right? We didn't, but we would have put a KB when we're dealing with a base, when dealing with the OH ion in here. So these are some uh, weak bases. Ammonia is probably the most common one you've heard of that we use quite a bit, right? And it wants to stay on this, this ammonium here. The, the break apart into this one, this is the, um, in this case, uh, this is going to be the base. Water is going to be the acid. Okay. This O, this water on this side, this OH is a great attractant for hydrogen ions. So it, this reaction tends to want to go back to the left all the time and not so much to the right. So that's what makes a weak base. So to write the KB for the ammonia base reaction, remember we're going to not deal with the liquid waters everywhere here. We're not going to put that in the equilibrium reaction. We're going to put these two products on top. We're going to put this on the, the ammonia on the bottom. There's no X, there's no coefficients. So there's no exponents. So just the same way we did the equilibrium constants, the KB, the KA are just specialized for acids and bases, but it's still the same equilibrium constant we used before. Okay. So solution with a small KB is what? KB is B for base, so that means it's a weak base. All right, so we'll leave the video here, and um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Answer the questions down below in the form, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.